the wave equation. Finally, I start with Maxwell's equations in a vacuum and take the curl of Faraday's law. Now the trick is to use the vector ID for the curl of a curl. And then you'll see that everything simplifies because Gauss's law tells us that del dot E is zero. And Ampere's law simplifies the other side. Put it all together and we derive a wave equation for the E field. Mm -hmm. Our familiar friend. Now take the curl of Ampere's law and follow the same path and you'll get an equation for B2. Now isn't it interesting? These are both wave equations that describe Transverse plane waves traveling at the speed of C, the speed of light. Transverse plane waves traveling, traveling, traveling.